Hi everyone, it's Lacey here. So I'm here to share with you my Coco Daisy February 2015 uh, kit review. So I'm going to show you what I have left. I'm just going to dump everything out. This is it. This is all I have left. So I used up that whole sheet or like that whole package of those big alphas and I'll show you why in a second and I'll probably do the same thing with these. So I don't have very uh, much left on there. I've got on this um, sheet of what is this chicken eighty uh, alphabets. It's called Jolly Good. I have three I's left, one O, and three U's. I can still use the numbers, but really for the most part, it's pretty well done. Uh, the stamp set I can still use, so no worries on that. Uh, this is it for the paper. Little scraps left. Uh, I think I have like two die cuts left. If I find them here, there's one. Oh, I've got three die cuts left. Three die cuts and one uh, corner, one gold corner round, or not corner rounder, but um, what do you call it? The photo corners. Thank you. Um, so that's it. That's all I have left. So I think I did a pretty good job. So I am going to turn the camera around and I'm going to hold them up and show with you and I'm sorry my hands are super painty because I was working on my what's up Wednesdays so anyway hang tight I'll see you in okay, a while. so I showed you what I had left from the February Coco Daisy kit I'm now going to show you the layouts that I made and I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven layouts that I made using the kit um, there's process videos for most of them, not all of them. Uh, this one, there's not a process video for. This is the one that I had left. And what I did is I took all of those alphas left on those sticker sheets and I put them down on this white piece of cardstock and uh, I used mist over top of it. And this is, I think, the Dirty Martini Dilution Spray. And the nice part of those alphas is they didn't stick. For this situation. Um, I didn't like those alphas because when I want alphas to, you know, for a title, I want them to stay on the page. Now for something like this, where I don't want them to stick, I do like this technique because they came off like nothing. So no worries. And there's no like glue residue from the stickers. So, um, in that instance, I like those stickers, um, those alpha stickers. Um, so anyway, that's one of the pluses and minuses of those alphas. As for titles, didn't like, but for this background, love. Long and short of it. So all I did is I took a whole bunch of strips that were left over from the pattern papers, um, even some branding strips, and I just kind of layered them and then uh, put a title. I actually used um, some of the Amy Tan, I think this is from our Plus One collection, um, alphas because I didn't have any left because I used them all for this. And, um, I didn't journal, I did a little bit of journaling on here, but this picture is of, uh, the bottom of the receipt that I had, um, when we went to, when I went to Tennessee to visit Sandra, I wrote at the bottom of the receipt, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, LOL. And, um, so it was just kind of like beginning the holiday season. So I just journaled about that. I added some black India ink uh, splotches and that was pretty much it. I thought the background was, you know, enough embellishment enough for this. I didn't want it to be overly crazy. And I just love how simple it is and complex all at the same time. So uh, this was one I did um, without a process video. It was for Sandra's on my challenge. Um, I didn't get it finished in time to do a uh, share on it, but it was to use up a whole bunch of die cuts of our own and some sticker sheets that were left over. So, um, that is from this and I just used some strips from the collection. These are the pattern paper strips and alphas. And I think that's pretty much it. Everything else was from my stash. So, so there's that one. This one there is a process video on and I love how this one turned out. So this one is for uh, the Sunday challenge I had with Sandra and it was uh, again using up stickers and um, embellishment packs. So um, I used some craft cardstock and I used a vellum die cut that had the Today 
kind of cut out from it and I used some gelatos and I just kind of um, used that to kind of like as a stencil basically. Uh, so the only thing from this kit is this pattern paper right here. And I'm just looking around. Yep, that's it. And then this branding strip right here. So yeah, these two pieces of paper and that's it. So you can see as like this, when I was showing you, like this is towards the end. When they get towards the bottom, that's, you know, we're towards the beginning. But as you get towards the end of a collection, you usually have bits and pieces and you got to start filling in anyway. So um, again, lots of embellishments from my own stash and then some gold sequins, some black india ink uh and then um these stickers were not from the collection uh from the kit as well these were from my own stash so i'm journaling and then it's done um this one is using a lot of the pattern paper from the uh from the kit so i've got some feathers that i cut out from the pattern paper some of the puffy stickers lots of the pattern paper i was use filling in a lot of the pattern paper at this point. I was just using some of the of the bigger scraps up. This background was um, something I actually had screwed up on. These little black dots are actually paint. Um, and then I'm not sure if you can tell, but this has like sketchy lines on top of it. And this is actually, uh, I think it's absorbent ground for pastels and it you can use it for gelatos it just holds the ink a little bit better but um i just wanted to try and use it up a little bit and i really like how it turned out so i used uh i think this is margarita mix this one i believe is bubblegum i do believe and this one's metallic mint and i just kind of went around the page um this is just white some white cardstock and then everything else is from the kit. So just the pattern or the white cardstock is not from the kit. And then this sticker here is not from the kit. But I like how this one turned out. This one is using most of the stuff from the kit. And when I say most, I mean this and this and then this black uh, mat for the cardstock or for the picture. And then everything else, like there's this little piece here that's from the kit. And then these are just a whole bunch of die cuts that I just started layering up on top of each other. And I love this white space here. I don't feel like I do enough of that. And I need to, I need to do it more because I really like how that looks. And then just use the alphas and some black India ink splotted and just lots of layers. I really like how this one turned out. This one is using the Mixer Media Kit and this is the kit for March that uh, I got from Wendy and I'm guest designing for her for the month of March. And this is a dream catcher that I had made um, using some of the pieces from the kit. And it, that I just used this, this, and this, and then this little, these little fibers things and then this vellum. And these were all pieces that were from the Mixture Media Kit. As for stuff that was from the Coco Daisy Kit, it was these feathers these alphas, and then some of these little die cuts and these puffy stickers. Other than that, there's just the cardstock that came from my stash. And, oh, and this little stencil is actually from the Mixture Media Kit as well. So, but I love this layout. This one, I really, really like. It's just very simple. Um, this dream catcher has a lot of impact on the page, so I didn't want to add too much to it. So there's that one. Uh, this one, I use some uh, Mixture Media Kit as well as the Coco Daisy Kit. So I'm going to show you what was from the Mixture Media Kit. So it was these little frames that I cut out from like a canvas sticky back six by six. It's like a piece of paper, but it was canvas and it was sticky back. I don't know. Anyway, um, I painted it black and then I cut it out on my uh, little, uh, what do you call it? Big shot. Thank you. And then this is again using that stencil. It's actually right here. This is what it looks like. So that's using that stencil from the Mixture Media Kit. It's, I don't know if it's a stencil. It feels like cardstock. I tried seeing if it was sticky and it's not so, but I used it as a stencil. You can see it just lines up just like that. And then some die cuts. This is a die cut. This is from my stash. This is from my stash. These are from my stash. This is from my stash. So really from the Coco Daisy kit, 
It's the black cardstock, this pattern paper, this little tab that keeps falling off. Let me, I don't think I glued it down. <laughs> Let's try that. And then these little puffy stickers here in that pattern paper, and that's it. So um, you can see like just little bits and pieces of it, and it just kind of adds a little something, something to that. So I like that. This is the BU layout, and I love this layout. It was just, I wanted to just play and try and use up stuff. So um, there is a process video on this one. Um, okay, so there's a process video on this one, this one, and this one so far. So um, that one, that one, and that one. And then there's a process video on this one. So um, I'll leave links below so you guys can check them out. And I love this layout. It was just kind of an experimentation. And I don't even know if I could reproduce it again. But there was lots of uh, gelatos and um, India ink and drawing and stamping. And I just love the impact. And then lots of layering up of pieces. And everything from here is from the Coco Daisy kit except for, of course, the cardstock and then the indie ink and then the ink for stamping. So, but I love this layout. This one is probably my favorite one. But, uh, I have lots of favorites, so I don't know. This one, there's a process video and this one is called The Graduate. Very, very simple, just white cardstock, uh, some splatters, uh, some misting with this. Uh, I use mist as stamp for stamping, you know, for I would miss uh, some sprays on some uh, wax paper and then I would put the stamp in it. It just kind of creates this kind of watercolor look to it. And I like that. And so what's from the kit? Everything. Um, just there's a lot of simplicity uh, pieces to it. There's lots of journaling on this one instead of, you know, a lot more embellishment. And I like how that one turned out. There's a process video on this one. It's called Sunday Stroll. And this was probably one of the last times that I got to take Milo for a walk. So I again used that mist with stamps uh, for a nice cool little technique. Um, everything is from the collection here. So no, uh, nothing from my stash other than the mist. And there's a process video on this one. So I'll link to that. And then this was the very first layout that I created. So this one, I used a sketch from the click kits and I used this Coco Daisy kit and I just cut um, these little diagonal pieces. And actually what I used was a Heidi swap stencil, you know, the Starburst one. I think everybody had, I just got it. So I wanted to use it and I love this layout. This one is lots of fun. And this is probably one of the last times I snuggled with Mr. Milo there. So uh, it has kind of a special meaning to it. So yeah, um, stamping with some ink or with some, um, yeah, some ink and then everything else is from the layout. Nothing else. No big surprise. There's some gold stitching here. So I'm going to be back in two minutes and I'm going to give you my overall review of this kit. Okay. So my total review on the February Coco Daisy kit is I really liked it. Um, it was a really nice price point. The delivery was really good. Customer service was amazing. Um, I felt like I got a lot of layouts out of the kit. Um, I had to use quite a bit of cardstock just to kind of stretch it out, but I think you would probably do that anyway uh, when it comes to a scrapbooking kit. I like that they did include at least four sheets of cardstock so that way, you know, you weren't using a lot of your own. Um, so yeah, I used a lot of my own cardstock. I think I counted, I don't remember how many, eight or so pieces of my own cardstock. So I felt like, um, what you got in the kit was a really nice balance. It didn't feel like there was an exorbitant amount of embellishments versus pattern paper. Um, I felt like the alphas were a good mix of tall and small. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the alphas was that one, they just didn't stick at all. And that's not anything against the kit. That's the actual manufacturer. Um, so that's nothing against the kit. I did like the alphabet size. Um, I felt it was a great kit. Like the colors just went. I like that the fact there was exclusive papers. So it was something different in the kit versus, um, you know, pattern papers. So 
I, I really like the kit. I can honestly see myself subscribing to that particular kit. Um, yeah, so if I'm going to leave a link to Coco Daisy below, I would say I'm going to give this kit, hmm, let's see, let's go with uh, 9 white card stock out of 10. Yeah, so I felt like it was just a really, really good kit. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of the kit. If you want to see what was in the original kit, I will make sure I leave a link to um, the unveiling of the February Coco Daisy kit so you can see what was in there uh, before it was all cut up. So thank you everybody for watching and I will see you in the next kit review. All right, bye.